Our top story here at 6. Survivors of last year's mass shooting outside the Monarch nightclub in downtown Minneapolis are sharing their stories with a jury. Juwan Carroll is on trial for murder and attempted murder in a shootout with a rival that left two dead and more than half a dozen injured. Paul Bloom has more from the victims and a developing legal issue in the case that is a major topic on race and justice across the country. A number of survivors from the mass shooting outside the Monarch nightclub taking the witness stand Tuesday, some doing so reluctantly, others more open about sharing the nightmares and post-traumatic stress they are still living with more than a year and a half later, including Tatiana Cloud, who was struck in the wrist. Doctors said just millimeters from a potentially fatal injury. The 25-year-old telling the jury, quote, some days are better than others. It's a daily reminder that I survived something that I was close to not surviving. A little closer to my artery, I wouldn't be here today. Cloud testified she was in the wrong place at the wrong time in downtown Minneapolis, grabbing late night pizza when the bullets started flying. Quote, everybody ducked. Everybody started running different places. Killed in the gunfire, two men, one shooter, the other Charlie Johnson, a University of St. Thomas grad to be, out celebrating with friends. He was struck by a stray bullet about a block away. His family has filled the courtroom gallery seeking justice. Meantime, the defense has promised Juwan Carroll will eventually testify to tell his side of the story. He's arguing self defense, that he only opened fire, fearing for his life when an armed rival threatened him and his buddies. Carol's loved ones insist that means he shouldn't be held criminally responsible for what happened. What I saw in the video, everything that Jawan is saying is 100% true. And when Carol takes the stand, one issue his legal team here will be fighting rap lyrics. Prosecutors want to introduce lyrics of a song Carol reportedly recorded less than a year before the deadly shootout. He apparently talks about shooting up anyone who runs up on him with a 40 caliber firearm, which was the weapon used. State argues it shows this wasn't self-defense, but rather something he had envisioned and rapped about. The defense contends it's prejudicial, has no place in front of a jury. Interestingly, this issue of rap lyrics being used against particularly black defendants has become a hot topic around race and justice across the country. Of course, we will be watching it all from here at the courthouse. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.